Hi guys. We hope that all of you are doing well and we are here with our next video which is about what you should do at the airport after landing. So guys in our previous video we talked about the things which you need to carry along with yourself when you come here and things which you might need to avoid and in this one we are going to talk about all you need to take care once you land here in Canada specifically at the airport. Okay, so after you land, you'll be directed to a kiosk where there will be two queues. Um, one queue will be the f uh, for the people who will be landing for the first time and the other one will be for the people who are returning. Um, from, you know, some people do soft landing, they go back to their country and then they come back again. So yeah. the second queue will be for them. You will be, um, you know, uh, well directed towards where you need to stand. And there'll be people from immigration as well, but uh, they'll just direct you to the line and there'll be kiosk. Every family, because like uh, giving an example, like we were two belong to one family. So we had to go to one kiosk. The kiosk is not for per member, it's like per family. Yeah, so you need to uh, fill all the details of the primary applicant and the number of dependents. And after that, uh, you will be receiving a receipt from that kiosk. And in case you get a receipt with a status of void or not authorized, don't panic because that is very common. That is some system error that happened with us. So in kiosk, you need to scan your passport for both primary and secondary. And sometimes they don't recognize it, like right there and then they don't have recorder in thing so there won't be any receipt like she mentioned uh, but in case like if the receipt is wired or anything you have to take that receipt with yourself and go to the uh, immigration counter yeah and please generate only one receipt yeah don't re generate duplicate receipts then after that um, uh, Moving to the manual counter, uh, you'll be asked some details like what is the purpose of uh, visiting Canada and uh, what all, you know, edible items you are carrying. So it is always good to declare because in case you get um, custom checking, so it will be difficult for you just because they'll be asking you that why you didn't declare it in the form. And the immigration person over there, they are usually very, uh, you know, they don't ask you many questions. They just greet you with a smile. They ask you the reason of coming. Yeah, people here are very friendly. <laughs> or the country which you are, you know, visiting from. Just few questions here and there and nothing, nothing. Yeah. So then after that, you'll be directed to the counter where your COPR will be verified. Uh, generally here, COPR is called landing paper. Yeah. So don't, don't get, get confused. confused. <laughs> we, we got confused because they were asking like landing paper and we were like, and we were like what is we don't have landing but we have COP <laughs> so that that happens so after that um, you don't need any separate photograph for that whatever photograph is there uh, on your uh, COPR uh, that is your landing paper they'll be considering that and they'll be asking you for the address on which your PR cards need to be emailed uh, and uh, after that uh, I think for the uh, photographs um, in case they are required you will get a uh, Mail from mail or yeah, you generally get that because in our case they, we don't got yeah, any we got email. Lucky and we didn't have to give any separate photographs. Though um, you know to cover all the risk, we actually got uh, some other photographs yeah, we as well. Got clicked. Uh, just landing. two three days before landing here so yeah. so that in case it's required we can quickly uh, you know respond with the photographs yes. and uh, moving to the next thing will be uh, the sin number so the sin numbers are generally um, you know allocated on the airport and that is just a 10 to 15 minutes of work uh, people are very nice there you will be you know directed to the counters there will be two or three counters then you need to give some confidential details They'll I remember me. they they have pencils over there and some uh, yeah, you need you know, to fill that form and then there's a form over there you need to fill your information like name and other conf confidential details like she said and it's just two minute job like you just give it to them they just call your number and and you'll be you allocated go. with the SIN number in case the SIN number counter is closed mm -hmm. you can obtain your SIN numbers the next day from service Ontario yeah uh, usually it had never happens but in case your flight is landing like after midnight or it's yeah. pretty late then obviously um, those people won't be there and yeah. also they give you some welcome kit as well you remember those booklets yeah, we got? I know and there was a very beautiful red colored uh, Canada symbol made bag mm. it was very nice and yeah please don't be like uh, you know that you're landing at 12 a.m and you are very tired and then you are waiting till eight o'clock in the morning don't just do to update your, your sin number don't worry you'll get it from service ontario yep. and service ontario is available after every two kilometers or three kilometers. yeah that won't be a big problem but yeah so these are the 
two three queues where you have to go and what after that so yeah so the next thing will be you will be going to the baggage uh, baggage belt you will be collecting in our, our case luggage. you know our <laughs> luggage was off the belt it was just lying yeah. on the side because i think we were the last of the people who <laughs> went there and collected because the luggage. there was a lot of people in the queue and yeah. we were just you know like we were hanging around and just going through everything and uh, going to the queues and all so it took us time to go yeah, to the baggage queue lot of time so after that we collected our luggage and then uh, you will be moving towards the exit so while moving towards the exit there will be a left hand side thing and a right hand side there'll be a officer over there he'll have uh, okay uh, there will be a receipt which you will get so if there is anything that you need to declare they'll mention something over there so you need to give that receipt to that immigration officer and he'll yeah. redirect you whether you need to go to exit the airport or there's a right side queue yeah so right side queue takes you to the customs where you need to declare the goods to follow so we went towards that because it is always good to declare yeah. what are the things which you will be bringing to canada from your country in the next 3 years and that is really very good thing to do because in case some day you come across the custom checking and you are carrying something say your jewelry or yeah. say your linen which has so your utensils which has been declared, declared. Yeah. so that will be um, you know you'll be liable for the export uh, duty charges and they will be very hefty which you don't want right that's your yeah. jewelry that's what you have paid uh, for in your country and you have paid taxes as well so it doesn't so matter so in the case of jewelry please carry all your, all the photographs of the jewelry and yes. the evaluations of the jewelry which uh, will be evaluated by your uh, you know say your jeweler and just get it any government authorized it. jeweler in yeah. your hometown yeah and get it authorized and get it uh, get it stamped and we did it uh, from i got it from done from tanishk so uh, yeah any any good jeweler right the, like uh, on the in the government website also you can find out there usually the most of the jewelers ones. are registered so yeah. that won't be an issue so um, in the case of jewelry just click all the pictures whatever you want to uh, bring in it's not like that you know you have a limitation but if you declare everything it will be good and then in the case of other things we just uh, gave them a rough estimate in dollars like some linen some uh, you know so clothing so yeah. uh, and uh, one more thing in case there is something uh, say you are importing your furniture from the from your country just because so many people from dubai i have seen them doing that so uh, that uh, those goods they follow in the ship i suppose so you have to declare those as well so yeah and uh, rest any anything whatever you want to declare please declare it that, and yeah. they will be you know attesting those forms stamping those forms and giving it and back to you yes, like a proof yes whenever you are traveling from your country to canada so you have to carry those documents along with you mm. so that in case a custom checking happens so you will be on a safe side so once everything is done they'll just show you the route that will be like exiting Exit. the <laughs> exiting the and main finally, airport and yay you're into canada <laughs> you're out like a free bird and you can go and explore new yeah. world of opportunities so uh, whatever needs to be done next we'll be covering it in our next video and this is something which is limited to what you should do at the airport and in case you have any questions or any queries please leave the comment in the comment box and let us know voice is good you can uh, <laughs> hear us properly and everything and yeah welcome all the questions and all the feedback yes and thank you so much for watching us and do like share and subscribe thank you so much and bye bye bye